Hey gamers, this is Liz Davidson from Beyond Solitaire, and today I'm going to be reviewing Orchard, a tiny solitaire card game from Sideroom Games. Orchard is a super simple puzzle game that really can be played in 10 minutes or less. These are all of the components of that little game box, and in order to play a game, all you do is shuffle the cards, create a deck of nine, put the rest aside, and lay one card out. Then the remaining eight cards are going to form your hands for the rest of the game. We'll draw two cards and I'll show you how to play. So what we're looking to do is we're looking to score the most points and you do that by overlapping the most fruit. So on my turn, I would play one of these cards. And as you can see, I have some opportunities because I have two reds together, two yellows together, and two of these purples together, and there are multiple opportunities to make that happen. I think what I'm gonna do this time, however, is I see a pretty big play. I'm going to go yellow, yellow, red, and put these cards together. So you can put the cards at 90 or 180 degrees and rotate them however you want. So now these are overlapped. I'm gonna put dice with a value of one over each of these. Then I'm gonna draw another card and see what sorts of overlaps are possible this time. As I continue to overlap multiple cards, which hopefully would happen, then my die values would go up. So for example, if I can get more reds here, then this will go up to three, then six, then 10. Same for these yellows. So the idea is to overlap as many of the same type of fruit as possible and continue getting points for doing that. This time, I might like to do this and get some purple out on the map. And then do something like this, where I'm getting another yellow-red overlap, where this die is going to upgrade to three, and I'm going to put out another red, one. And then, of course, draw again. There is one additional challenge to the game, and that is rotten fruit. So you might have noticed that I might want to get some really high value dice through overlaps, but maybe the cards that I have won't quite let me do that. Let's say for example that I really wanted to overlap these two yellows for one reason or another, but I have a red and a purple here and a red and a red here. I could, if I wanted to, put this card here, put out dice for the overlapping fruit that matches, and then take a penalty for the one that doesn't by putting out one of these two rotten fruit tokens. So twice in the game, you can put out a token to mark that you overlap trees that did not match. There is a consequence, however, and that is that you will take negative three points at the end of the game for each rotten fruit that's out on the board. Once you're done, you calculate your score, which is done off of this hilarious chart with terrible fruit puns. So you might be going for a score that is remarkable, tremendous, plum believable, or even close to perfect. And then one of my favorite little touches about the game is that once you've played all of these cards and you've played a game, it's a nine card game, but there were 18 cards in the deck. So all you have to do is clean up and voila, you have a second deck of cards ready to go for an immediate next game. So now for some final thoughts. First off, I really like Orchard and I think it's a really good little pocket game. The first thing I like about it is that it really is as fast as it says on the box. You actually can finish a game of Orchard in 10 minutes, and that entire 10 minutes is engaging and fun. Even better, the game sets itself up for rapid plays one after another. There are 18 cards in the box, but you set up a nine card deck, and that means that when you finish your first game, you have the other deck ready to go for another game. And the number of times that I have done that while playing Orchard is large. It's not only a game that doesn't demand too much of your time, but the time that you do spend with it is so charming that you're generally willing to set it up and play it again right away. The other thing I really like about Orchard is the actually tiny box size for a tiny game. This box is sturdy, which I appreciate, but it's also small enough to go into a backpack or a bag, and it's going to become a travel game for me for sure. I really like this one, and I like it enough to pull it out at lunch if I have a moment. I should note that the footprint of the game on the table is also fairly small, which is a real bonus in a game that's supposed to be a small backpack game. 
And then finally, the puzzle of orchard is just fun. I really like looking at the different patterns of fruit trees, trying to figure out what the exact best type of overlap is going to be, and going for some of those big plays, maybe even at the risk of putting down a piece of rotten fruit. Overall, the gameplay itself is fun, it's snappy, it's exactly what it's supposed to be for a game of this size, and I really recommend it. I like it a lot. Orchard does have a couple of potential drawbacks. The first one is I do think that it's such a small, quick game that if you play it a bunch of times in succession, you can burn out on it, especially as you get used to some of the card patterns. So your mileage may vary with that. I find myself playing it a lot, giving it a rest, and then playing it a lot again. That's typical for me when it comes to small games. There's also a tactile issue for me with Orchard, and that is that you place the dice on top of the cards and then have to move the dice out of the way, layer another card down, and then put the dice back on top. That means there's a lot of potential to forget where dice were originally placed, to forget what um, scoring number was originally on some of the dice. You have to be very methodical about, I like to take the dice off, lay the new card down, put the dice back on, and then adjust the scores. But you have to make sure that you're doing it in some sort of pattern, or else it's actually pretty easy to either mess up your dice or get lost somewhere in the process. And that's the only real complaint I have about Orchard. And with that said, this is a delightful little small box game. I recommend it, uh, and I would give it an 8 out of 10, a Dice Tower seal of approval. Happy gaming.